Before we get started, I'd like to thank the La Entrada Mathemagicians for hooking me up with my threads this month. Now we have some geometry, so I've got my very own mathemagician right here, Harvey. How's it going, man? Harvey's a mathemagician because he can make us see things that aren't even there. Let's see how it works on this problem. We have a square. We have a circle inscribed in the square. And they give us the dimensions of this little rectangle up here. They tell us it's 5 by 10. And our goal is to find the radius. Now, what do you see, Harvey? Right triangles. There are no right triangles here. So we're going to have to make the right triangles. Now you might think, ah, I've drawn the hypotenuse of the rectangle, but that doesn't look like it's going to help. It's not going to help us with the radius. So we need right triangles involving our radius. Well, I know how to get right angles involving our radius. I go ahead and draw radii to these points of tangency, and I get some nice little right angles right there. No right triangles, Harv. No right triangles. Oh, yeah, that's a good strategy. I always tell me, you try to relate what you want to what you know. What we want is the radius of the circle. What we know about is this little rectangle up here. So we try to relate a radius to the rectangle. We draw a radius out to the rectangle. Still no right triangles, Harv. Drop altitudes. Drop altitudes, you get right triangles. So we're going to go ahead and drop an altitude. And there we go. We have a right triangle. Let's see if we can find the lengths, the side lengths in terms of r. R is the radius. That's what we want. This is r. This is r. This is r. Well, if this length is r is the radius, then this whole length here, and this big thing here is a rectangle. That's the radius as well. That means this leg right there, this length right here, is r minus 5. Well, that gives us one leg length. And then we can do the same thing over here. This whole thing is r. This length is 10. That means this little piece right here is r minus 5. 10. Now we have a right triangle. We have all three side lengths in terms of r. We can break out the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, I know, Harvey. That was your plan all along. Square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the legs. So we take the quantity r minus 5 squared, and we add that to the square of r minus 10. I'm going to draw these lines here to separate our work. Now we just need to expand these squares, do a little algebra. We have r squared equals, we expand this, we get r squared minus 10r plus 25. And we expand this, we get r squared minus 20r plus 100. All right, now we've got to clean all this up. I'm going to bring everything over to this side. We'll have 0 equals r squared plus r squared gives us 2r squared, but then we subtract that one over there. r squared minus 10r minus 20r, that gives us a minus 30r. Then we add the 25 and the 100, we get 125. And 125, that's 5 cubed. So I see pretty quickly here how to factor this quadratic. I get r minus 5 times r minus 25. Now, clearly, r can't be 5. You can see from our diagram here, r has to be at least 10. So the answer to our question is the radius is 25. Build right triangles. On to the next problem. Here we go. <sighs> Pentagon A, B, C, D, E. E and C are right angles. D is 120. i got to draw this picture. I, all right, start with angle D. All right, draw this over here. We got, there's my angle D. We got E and C over here, and got right angles. So I'm going to go out from here to right angle, up from here to right angle. And let's see, AE and BC have the same length, so stop it at kind of about the same length. Connect these two. We'll call this B. We'll call this A. These are each 18. 18, these two are equal. Right angle, right angle, this is 12. And what? I drew it wrong. Let me check. Now that's exactly what the problem says. Uh, okay, well, I know what to do. I know what to do. We build right angles, right? Build right triangles, that is. We've got the right angles. We're going to build the right triangle. We're going to draw that right there because this is the side length we want right there. Now we have a right triangle. I broke your angle. What? Oh. Yeah, this right triangle isn't helping me a whole lot. It's not helping me because, well, I've got a side length, but I don't know anything about the angles. And they gave us this 120 degree angle. 120 degrees, nice angle, because you can get 60s, maybe sometimes you can get 30s out of that. 
really nice angle, but uh, here I went and broke my nice angle into two pieces I know nothing about. Not going to help. All right, all right. No shame doing it wrong the first time. We'll come back and we will try it again. Now, I'm going to try it again. Draw it over. All right, here we go. Same thing as last time. We will start off. We will draw. There's angle D. What's that? Oh, no shame doing it wrong the second time, too. All right, very funny, Harvey. All right, we're drawing a diagram again. Drawing a diagram again. Oh, you tell me I'm drawing it wrong again. Just fine. Well, I think this fits the problem perfectly. We've got a right angle here. We've got a right angle here. This is B. This is A. These two side lengths are equal. This is 18. This is 18. This is 12. All right, what do you see, Harv? Four right triangles. Four 30, 60, 90 triangles. Listen to him. All right. Do you see any 30, 60, 90 triangles yet? I don't. But I want to use this 120 degree angle because last time when we started, we broke it. So I want to use it in some clever way. Now I see these two side lengths here. They're equal. So that means if I draw this, well, I build an isosceles triangle. Now I'm a little nervous about this because I'm breaking my right angles up. But this isosceles Triangle, this is 120 degrees. That means each of these down here are 30 degrees. Now, this is one case where you're allowed to break up your angle because I'm breaking it in angles I know about. This is 30, this is 60, and 30s and 60s make me happy when they're in right triangles. So I'm going to build some right triangles. I can draw this, and I get a 30, 60, 90 triangle up there, and I can draw this, and I get a 30, 60, 90 triangle down here, just splitting the isosceles triangle in half. Now, 30, 60, 90s, I can chase lengths all over the place. Go ahead and draw this, and I'm going to get another 30, 60, 90 triangle up here. And let's see what that gives us. Well, on this 30, 60, 90 triangle right there, well, I've got my 18 on the hypotenuse. This is 30 degrees, so the side opposite it, kind of running out of space here, but that length right there is 9. This length right here is also 9. Hmm. What I really want to know about is this 30, 60, 90 triangle down here because its hypotenuse is what I'm going after. So I want to get one of these two legs. Well, I know that these two triangles down here, these two are congruent. What? Oh, these aren't the four 30, 60, 90 triangles you're talking about? Oh, let me finish here, Harf, because I got this, and then we'll go after your solution. I got these two congruent triangles down here. These two pieces are equal. That means these two pieces are equal as well, and they add up to 12. So each of these has length 6. And now I have a leg of this 30, 60, 90 triangle down here. And I can finish. This whole leg is 15. That's opposite the 60 degree angle. So to get the side opposite the 30 degree angle, I take my 15, take my 15, and divide it by the square root of 3. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. This is the length of my shorter leg. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3 by the square root of 3, and up here I'll have 15 root 3 divided by 3. So that tells me this short leg right here is 5 times the square root of 3. And in my 30, 60, 90 triangle, to get the hypotenuse, I double the length of the short leg to get 10 times the square root of 3. And there we are. Build right triangles. And 30, 60, 90 triangles are especially nice. Now, what's so special about your 30, 60, 90 triangles? They're outside the Pentagon. I don't see them. Oh, I don't see them because I drew the Pentagon wrong. All right, all right, all right. I'll draw it your way. What's your way? Put D at the top. Okay, we'll put D at the top. What's that? Oh, that's right. There's symmetry in this picture. You know, the way I drew it here, it's kind of hard to see the symmetry. But when we're going to have some nice symmetry, we want to draw the diagram to really draw out that symmetry so we can see that symmetry better. If we put the D at the top, put D up here, and I'm going to draw the right angles like this to really highlight that symmetry. This is not exactly to scale, but you get the picture. C, D, E. These are right angles. These are right angles. I have some nice pretty symmetry going on here. This is 18. This is 18, this is 12, and we've got B and A down here. Now, where are those 30, 60, 90 triangles you were telling me about? This is 120 degrees. I've got my nice symmetry going on here. What's that? Draw a line through D parallel to AB. 
I got my nice pretty symmetry going on here. Oh, that's clever. Check this out. This is 120 degrees. That means each of these is going to be 30. Each of these is going to be 30. And then if I... Very slick, Harv. This is why he's a magician. So you're building a big old square outside of the Pentagon. These two are 30, 60, 90 triangles. And then look what's going on down here. This is 60. This is 60. So this down here is 30. That over there is 30. We've got two more 30, 60, 90 triangles right there. And these are the four 30, 60, 90 triangles Harvey sees. So these are each 18. That tells me that these two short legs opposite the 30 degree angles. These are each 9. So this whole length right here, this whole thing, 9 and 9 and 12, that gives us 30. That means each of these two, each of these two is 15. So with our 30, 60, 90 triangle, long leg is 15. And we can do the same work we did before to find the short leg is 5 root 3. And each of these hypotenuses, the sides we want, 10 root 3. Very slick. Build right triangles. Build 30, 60, 90 triangles. You know what, Harvey? You're a lot smarter than you look.